channel. So today's video is going to be about body magic. Now I get asked a lot uh, about what I eat while I'm doing body magic, uh, what sort of body magic that I do and I just thought I'd make a quick video on it. So body magic is what Slimming World refer to as um, exercise or anything that gets your heart rate going a little bit faster. That is classed as body magic. So we start off with uh, bronze, then we work up to silver, then we work up to gold and then eventually when exercise is just part of your daily life and it's intrinsic just like brushing your teeth then you would qualify as platinum. So this video isn't going to be about um, how to get bronze, um, what bronze is because you've got all of that information in your pack and that's only available to Slim and World members. This video is going to be more about the benefits of body magic and how I personally choose to eat when I'm doing more body magic. So the fact that tends to shock me the most is that inactivity, irrespective of what you weigh, can be as dangerous to your health as smoking. So whether you're 20 stone, 10 stone, 8 stone, 12 stone, if you're inactive that can be as dangerous for your health as if you were a smoker. So that really scares me. Now there's so many benefits to doing any form of activity. So whether that's walking the dog, whether that's going to the gym, whether it's doing exercise classes, uh, whether it's cleaning your car, whatever, all those things that get your heart rate going a little bit faster have so many benefits. So one of the benefits to me is just more my mood. So mentally, I think exercise is fantastic. For anybody that suffers with depression or anxiety, exercise can really, really help with that. Also sleep, so that's another benefit if you are more active. Also, your resting heart rate will actually be higher if you're an active person. So even when you're resting, if you've got something like a Fitbit, then it will tell you what your heart rate is. So resting, mine's about 66 um, at the moment, beats per minute, but the more active you are, the faster your heart rate will be, so the more you're burning calories, even when you're just resting, which is always good. Obviously, exercising is going to help you tone up as well, so if you are quite interested in your dress size or your trouser size going down, then the more exercise you do, the more you're going to be able to tone up. It's a complete misconception that muscle weighs more than fat. A pound of muscle will weigh the same as a pound of fat. It's just smaller. So you would have to get absolutely massive for that to actually apply. What normally happens when you exercise is that you are using more water in your muscles, so they will retain water. So sometimes if you get a couple of weeks where the scales aren't your best friend, it's normally because you're not drinking enough fluid. Fat and muscle are actually separate tissue, so it's a real kind of like myth in, in the exercise industry about the whole muscle weighs heavier and if you exercise you're going to gain weight, that's so not true. So, other benefits, um, heart disease, so your risk of heart disease is lower, your blood pressure is going to be better, diabetes, you're less at risk for being diabetic. Also, it's, I think for me, a social thing. So because I work from home, if I go out and exercise, then I'm actually seeing people, chatting to people, and I'm a lot more sociable as well. And I'm sure there's loads and loads of other benefits that you can think of. Um, in terms of how I eat, now this is a question I get asked a lot. So um, before exercising, I was probably one of the stricter members. So when I say that, I was still following the plan. So step one, free food, step two, healthy extras, and step three, sins. But I was always very much on the lower end of sins. And spending quite a lot of sins on one thing would have scared me a little bit. But with exercise, how you have to think of it is you wouldn't get in your car to go on a really long journey, say to Manchester from where I live, and only put a quarter of a tank of petrol in your car. You just wouldn't do it. It doesn't make sense. You'd have to keep stopping off and stopping off and putting more fuel in. When you're exercising, it's a very similar parallel. So if you're not putting enough in, yet you're trying to work your body harder, then it's not going to happen. You're not going to get the results that you want. When you exercise, you actually need to make sure that you're eating enough. Now, that blows my mind because I think, well, no one probably eats more than me. Have you seen my food? 
But actually, when you're needing energy and you're trying to feed muscle and lose fat, you do need more calories and you do need to be eating enough. So how I train now, I'm not an expert. I have um, diplomas in nutrition via Slim and World. I can only go on what I found out through my own research, through Slim and World's advice, and through talking to um, personal trainers that I know. Um, what I tend to do now is the days where I am more active, I do do extra easy rather than extra easy SP. Um, SP is fine, and you know that I'm a massive fan of SP. With SP, um, your main carbohydrate is going to come from either your healthy extras, your beans, peas, and pulses, or your fruit and veg, but they're all quite low carb. Um, when you're exercising, sometimes you do need a bit more carbs for energy, so I tend to do more extra easy um, when I am doing more training. Obviously, one of the key things is getting enough protein. So with Slim and World, anything with the P symbol next to it is going to be really, really important. Protein really aids uh, muscle repair, so it is quite key if you are trying to tone up as well as lose weight. Um, healthy fats as well, so you are going to need fat, everybody needs fat. Um, fat's not a swear word, it is if it's used in my group, but it's not as in eating healthy fats. So things like your nuts, things like your cheese, things like your... Um, what else? Avocado, which I used to hate, but now I actually love. Um, you can use nuts as a healthy extra, or you can choose to sin them. Avocado you can sin. I just have small amounts of that, and I sin it. I used to hate it, but honestly, I really like it now. Um, what else can you get healthy fat from? Oh my God, peanut butter. So I have peanut butter, which is 100% peanut, which I am obsessed with. Um, also things like really, really high percentage dark chocolate. So it's got less sugar in, a little bit more fat, but it's real rich organic chocolate. That's quite good to use your sins on. One of my absolute favorite treats at the moment, which years ago, it would have frightened me a little bit to spend this amount of sins on something, but it's the grenade bar. Bars. So grenade po uh, protein bars, they range from about 10, 10 and a half to 11 sins. Every single flavour is like, oh, honestly, I'm like, I, I, I need to go and eat one now, just thinking about them. I'm obsessed with them. So I'm going to tell you a little bit more about them in the uh, comments below. But protein bars, they're quite good as well to use your sins on. So it's just making sure you're eating enough. I think the problem is when you think exercise, exercise, I've got to eat less, I've got to eat less, I'm dieting. You've got to remember at Slimming World, we're not dieting, are we? We're food optimising. The plan says one, two, three. Free food, healthy extras, and your five to 15 sins. So if you want to go and use your 15 sins, you absolutely can. I just prefer to spend my sins on more what I call like healthy sins, smart sins. And when you're really active, there are better choices for me personally I wouldn't go and eat a bag of crisps, I'd rather have a protein bar. So it's entirely up to you. You will lose weight without doing body magic. You could lie on your sofa for the rest of your life and you could lose weight. But for me, healthy living with healthy eating combined is the perfect combination. For me, it creates that synergy where I feel healthy but I also feel fit. I will lose weight but I'll also tone up. So it all depends what your goals are really. But yeah, that's kind of it when it comes to body magic. So whether you're going to start gradually and go for bronze, or whether you're going to work up towards silver, gold, or platinum, you can get certificates for it, you can get stickers for it, or awards, a bit of bling for your book. So it's just a really good thing to try and incorporate in your life for loads of different reasons. Chat to your friends in group, find out what they're up to, have a look what goes on locally. Get yourself down to the local gym if you're feeling brave. For some people, I know that is quite scary, but honestly, it's not going to be as bad as you think. Um, I tend to go uh, and do mainly classes because I find I work better when I'm amongst other people. And I love my gym instructor at the gym. She's brilliant. So I do classes like combat. I do RPM, spin. I do body pump. I do insanity. Uh, I do sprint, which is on the bike. Um, and occasionally I do attack. Uh, occasionally I do yoga um, and I do um, currently have a personal trainer which is only once a week um, sometimes I'll go for a little run running isn't my thing I am NOT a natural runner um, I prefer to lift weights personally um, it, again it all depends what look you're going for really so if you're still not convinced and you're still not sure whether you're ready to get active then go now and grab a little piece of paper and down the middle of the piece of paper just draw a line and on one side write for and on the other side write against. 
and I want you to sit for a couple of minutes and have a really good think about all the benefits you're going to get from being more active, whether that is mentally, whether it's physically, whatever you think you're going to gain from being a more active person, write it all down on the four. Now on the against, sit and ask yourself or just have a little think about what could be getting in your way at the moment, what are your stoppers, what are your against when it comes to doing more activity. A lot of common ones can be things like time and with time, honestly, even if you just start off doing a couple of sessions a week of 15 minutes, that is going to be better than nothing. You can go on YouTube, you can type in beginners and you can find a 15 minute workout and I'm sure you could fit 15 minutes into your day somewhere. So cost, exercising outside is free, so it doesn't necessarily have to cost a lot of money to be active. And then there might be other things like embarrassment. It took me a long time to pluck up the courage to go to the gym. I lost two and a half stone really quickly without doing exercise, because you can, you don't, you don't have to exercise to lose weight. And I waited till the last half a stone to go to the gym, and I really regret that now, because I think from chatting to other people, where well, you do see people in the gym, whether they're small, whether they're bigger, whatever, you just think, yeah, fair play, they're at the gym, <laughs> they're making an effort. I don't think anybody judges people at the gym, so it's, it's your own kind of paranoia really. And I think once you push past that, then I don't think you'd feel embarrassed anymore. So just have a little think of all the little things that could be in your against, and then just try and work through them and see if you can come up with some solutions. Because when you think back to the fact that I told you at the beginning that inactivity is as dangerous to your health as smoking, wouldn't it be amazing if we could all just get a little bit more active, if we can all just start combining body magic with food optimising and just, yeah, creating the perfect synergy. So it all depends what look you're going for in terms of what activity you want to do. Some people would like to go and download the Couch to 5K, um, they might join a running club and they might be more into running. Um, not me, I'm not a runner. Um, I don't mind occasionally running on the treadmill but it, it's, I'm just not, I'm not great at it and I prefer to get my workouts done quicker. So I prefer more high intensity, um, shorter workouts and I prefer to do weights, I absolutely love doing things with kettlebells and I love lifting weights, that's just the thing that I'm into. So it all depends what sort of look for you're going really, but read your body magic book, have a little look in there, online there's also some fabulous features regarding body magic on the Slimming World website. Um, you can actually set yourself challenges on there to complete, so I don't know if you've ever explored all the different kind of tools really that we've got at Slimming World to encourage you to do more body magic. So have a little go guys and keep me posted and if you get your bronze, silver, gold or platinum then let me know, I'd love to hear all about it. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, if you can just give it a quick like or uh, leave a positive comment below, it just really helps to support my channel. Um, if you think that you've got any friends that would benefit from watching this, then feel free to share. I think um, as a consultant, as a manager, as somebody that is into body magic, um, I just want to help people really. So as I said at the beginning, I'm not a fitness instructor, I'm not qualified in personal training, I'm literally just giving you my own personal um, opinion and what works for me. So, have a great day and thanks for watching. Happy fopping.